All right, I'm back. Just two seconds while I post the stream. That should be it. Alright, let's get going. So, let's see. 932, 930. Okay, so we got our back up. As we learned last stream, and I wasn't on mic at the time, as we learned last stream, always make a backup file. <laughs> Because you're going to do something stupid sooner or later, and I almost lost it all. <laughs> so, that, that was pretty pretty close. So, um, yeah, I wasn't on mic last time on stream, so this time, this time I am on mic, which is nice. Um, what I've been doing in Shovel Knight is I've been working on, this is my second cycle, New Game Plus, and I've been working on getting different achievements. And, uh... Right now, what I've been trying to uh, do is the no death achievements. No death and no falling. And as you'll see, I will be dying a lot and falling a lot, but I'm just having to make sure that I don't save. And. <laughs> Ooh, that was a little close. So you'll probably be seeing lots of death and falling right now. Whoa. that works. Use all the tools. Coincidentally, I had a dream about this exact section that I could use the propeller thing to... to uh, work my way up the side of the tower. Which doesn't work, but in my dream it worked. Anyway, so... Let's do this then. Now, I don't really remember this stage at all, honestly, but... Okay, well... Guess my safe spot's been decided for me. Anyways, hi legend, hi white. I, I could use that. I don't want to really screw around with that enemy. Oh, look at that. Shoot, I thought that was a thing up there. Oh well. Oh god. The things people say. The section here literally I think it was Taro who said it. Was it haven't you ever played Mario World? <laughs> and like literally I just sat here and I frowned so hard. Making me frown so hard, Tara. Frown so hard. I'm just like, yes I've played Mario World, but this section's harder than it looks. Oh god. Damn it, that's death. Okay, so... Wasn't sure how low that, that went. Would've been sm the smart thing would've been to, uh... Watch it, but, you know. Alright, let's go. Sharpen thy shovel. It's really good. I highly recommend it, Legend. It's definitely a very good Steam game. Ah, 
Yeah! Oh my god, that was so lazy. Whoa. Same thing last time. I forgot about it and then I remembered. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. That's that. Okay, time for a new run. <laughs> Gonna be a lot of that. A lot of this and a lot of this happening, so. Be prepared. Oh my goodness. So. Yep, exactly. It's hard but fair. Whoops. Whoops. Well, that works. <laughs> A little bit more meter than I probably wanted to spend doing something like that, but you know. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! What was that? Those are the little things. That was something I was gonna say. The thing with Shovel Knight is, damn it, it does. It's. It's not really that hard of a game, so to speak, but. Uh, as I say, as I died like four times. Um, it's not really that hard of a game, but. It's one of those things that every so often something gets you in this game, and it's weird things. It's things that's like, oh, I didn't know it did that, or I didn't know that worked like that. And that tends to happen a lot in this game. I'm not entirely sure why that is. Maybe it's just because I've played this game as a live stream, mostly, and I tend to rush into situations maybe a bit more well in well live streaming, but sometimes I have to watch out for things. So I have to be very careful in this game because little things can like really uh, do you in. Also, taking your time in this game, that's a really important factor which I often neglect. <sighs> I mean, I know what happened. I basically pinched, <laughs> I basically pinched my head on the block there, and it pushed me through the block I was on. So that was unfortunate. There we go. All right. So I guess do this. This might really be something that's hard to do too, uh, given <laughs> at this point I've had a long day, but I'm going to give it my best, so we'll see where we can go. Okay, I can't figure as much. At least I know now. Okay, so... Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> okay. That got scary there for a moment. Whoa, shit. Oh, I could have saved myself too if I had jumped. But it's all process. It's all a learning process. So and that's what this is right now. Had I played this game.
game, had I played this cycle without a big gap in the middle, because I took a break from it for a little while, and then I came back to it, because I kind of wanted, I didn't want to get too caught up in just trying to stream the second cycle, because I didn't know if, you know, I, fig I figured it was pretty doable, but I wasn't sure how much, like, I should invest into it time-wise. So, it was one of those things that kind of, uh, it kind of took a backseat to a few other streams I had lined up. Particularly because, uh, I had quite a lineup of platformers I was going to be playing, so... Yeah, I wanted to make sure that I could get to the ball. <sighs> and technically, as of Gunman Clive, uh, I'm, I pretty much... <laughs> See you later. Oh, hey, put him right on the thing. That's kind of cool. Uh, and as of Gum and Clive, I'm officially done my summer lineup of platformers, which is pretty cool. Hmm. I'm quite pleased with that notion. I just realized that. Actually, maybe I have one more platformer. I'd have to check my stream stream <laughs> stream schedule. gonna stream hover when it comes out? I'd really like to. Um... I'd really like to stream hover. Um... I don't know what the status is on it at the moment. Uh... I figure it's probably still fairly early in development. I don't know if they're doing an open beta. I assume they probably are. Maybe not, well, not an open beta, but I assume they're probably going to do a beta for people who support the Kickstarter. Which I did not, just be- Oh, whoa! Whoa! Tiny movement forward. God. What is it? It's... There's something about... It's this right- Ooh, hey, I didn't know about this. Um... Anyways, uh, what I was gonna say was, there is one little, like, nitpick I have with controls in Shovel Knight, and that is, holding down at all does not make you stop moving. So, right now, I am holding left and down. So, what it does is it makes you run. So, unlike, uh, Mario World, for example, which, um... Mario World, where it's very common practice to, you know, if you land... Oh, it's just this guy. Okay, I figured there might be more there. Um, very common practice when you land to kind of hold down to, like... Wow, really? Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, Terra. Oh. I may have to, like, do something about my stream. That's terrible. I feel bad about that. Oh, god. Now I'm looking at the chat instead of looking at the game. I feel bad about that. I will definitely be getting Hopper when it comes out, but... It's just a case of... Uh, I probably won't... Well, I won't be in on the beta because I didn't support the Kickstarter. The only reason I didn't support the Kickstarter was mostly just because I'm very, very picky about what I support on Kickstarter. The games are going to come out anyways, as far as, like, Hover, because it, you know, succeeded. Uh, and it's something that I'll just buy when it comes out, honestly. I just don't, uh... I just don't like getting into putting too much money out there too far ahead of time.
which I think is fair. Come on. But yeah, holding down in a direction as you still move forward, which I think is one of the few things I can say is not something I like very much about Shovel Knight. I feel I feel like it was something that was almost overlooked. But like I said, there's there's little things in Shovel Knight which are very they're strange, like like when the platform pushed me through. Like it makes sense, but it just feels sort of against uh, what you typically expect. In all honesty, I almost feel like getting pinched like that should push you to the like push you to the left, technically. That would be what I'd expect to happen. But, no big deal. But yeah, hover for people who don't know what hover is. Um, ooh, it is basically a spiritual successor to uh, Jack Ryan Radio. Hmm. It was also greenlit. I see. Well, that's good. I'll have to like add that to my like wish list then. You can tell that it's clearly after a day's work for me. <laughs> so if I go under when it's going up. Okay, when it's going down. often you get life in this either. I'm playing on the second cycle, as I think the tag at the bottom says, so... Whoa! Jeez, that guy got really aggressive. Damage. I didn't realize they did so much damage. I probably wouldn't have screwed around with them as much as they did. Did that, if I was wrong, you should do it. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's not what I want to be using this early. Whoa, 
jump. Ah, oh, what? Oh my god. <sighs> oh my goodness. I'm sitting here thinking and I'm like, oh no, I think this is the stage two where you fight like the bosses at the end. Like all of them. Back to back. I think you get food between them though. But what's bothersome about the notion is the fact that you might not get food in between them in this, on this difficulty, which would be bad, which would be very bad, so, because honestly, I really struggle to do the bosses, uh, cleanly in this, uh, in this game. There's a few that I can do it, but... And I'm definitely not good enough to do them all yet. Oh my god, what am I doing? That's what I get for looking at the chat briefly. I might honestly just call the stream in a few just because I'm really starting to like like half an hour ago wasn't noticing it so much noticing it really now that how tired I am <laughs> there we go not too surprising this is one of those things that kind of takes really good you know takes your full focus to play it so especially well in particular going for like no miss clears. Just do it like that. That works. There we go. That's a little bit quicker. Honestly, Jack and Daxter is a series I never really got into. Not really serious I ever got into. I played the very first game, but I found I found it really underwhelming personally. Hmm. Well I went about as fast as it could go. <laughs> Take away the chickens between the bosses. <laughs> That's really gonna annoy me, I can tell already. I think I could probably do okay though, but it'll take some practice. The hard part is is the fact that you can't really practice it because you can't really practice it because of course the moment uh beat it, it's gonna save the game, so. Plus you have to get there again, so. Because I'm busting all the checkpoints. Like, big dummy. This is one of those instances that probably should have split the achievements up a little bit between a few more playthroughs. I'm trying to do too many at once, I think. If it reaches that point, though, that I feel like I can't do it, I will probably just, like, uh call it and just like cut this run down to just like one of one of like the three big achievements so the three being um 
Uh, no deaths, no falls, and um, what's this other one? Now I'm wondering. Uh, no deaths. Whoa. No deaths, no falls, and something else. I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, destroy all the checkpoints. Oh!